Welcome to the show. I'm Kathy Ireland. The COVID-19 pandemic has affected all of us in different ways, but mask mandates have presented special concerns for professionals who rely on clear, concise communication. Joining us today are Safe and Clear's president, Dr. Ann McIntosh, and Ann's daughter, Sophia Puckett, an expert in social media and customer service, to discuss how their clear masks are improving quality of life for a number of vulnerable populations and the community at large. Welcome, ladies. Hi, thanks Hi. for having us. Thank you for having us. Well, we're so glad you're here. And Anne, you have a very apparent mission at Safe and Clear. Can you dive into that a bit? Yeah, uh, we have a mission here at Safe and Clear to provide safe and clear masks to anyone who needs mask protection. But not just that, we want to remove communication barriers. Communication is a basic human right. So we want people to be able to have accessibility and inclusion in their communication. And you're accomplishing those goals thanks to your mask, distinctively named the communicator. Can you tell us about this exciting product, Anne? Sure. Right here, we have a communicator mask, and Sophia is going to model and put this on for us. Um, she's using a comfortable elastic loop here, which you can, by the way, twist them if you need to get a closer fit because the contours of people's faces can be a little bit different. She's going to adjust up here at the top with the adjustable nose clip. It's going to give her a good seal, and that's wonderful, especially if you're wearing eyeglasses there. And then, of course, we have the clear piece right here that is opening. This is a solid, um, impermeable piece here, so the no pathogens is going to pass through this clear piece. It allows you to fully see the mouth and also more of the facial expressions. Now, Sophia, some customers might assume there's a risk of condensation or fogging with a clear mask. Does the communicator address this concern? Yes, the film is anti-fog, so the customer does not need to worry about any fogging or anything like that. So any worries they might have can be eliminated. Right. And, and what about longevity? Is the communicator reusable, Sophia? So this communicator is a one-time single-use disposable mask and it comes in these easy dispenser boxes that have 40 masks per box. So this is great for convenience and safety. So Anne, are these masks designed primarily for professional use or personal comfort? Well, overall, the design is for protection. If you need masks, you want to be able to be protected. So it is designed with that in mind, but it does have this personal use, especially now with COVID, it's outside of the medical care setting. So in for real world settings, this is a mask that can be used for both personal and professional. It's really um, nice to be able to wear a clear mask for our patients. Um, initially, uh, we thought that it was for the patient, more of the patients that, that really required lip reading, but realized that even patients that, that use sign language and don't lip read much really um, wanted to see facial expression. So that's a big part that carries a lot of meaning in American Sign Language. So we wear our masks um, whether the patient is someone who lip reads or not um, and recognize too that there's a lot of people that um, just even throughout the system um, have noticed wearing a clear mask is something that has benefited them even with patients that don't have hearing loss. I mean, the clear mask itself, it's been beneficial just be able to see people. It's also nice to be able to have that connection um, to people who can be able to see them smile. But you also get more information when you can see their faces. So are they doing, are they healthy? Are they doing well? Um, if they're struggling, um, you can also get more like mental health uh, cues. So it's helpful to have the clear mask, uh, at least for me. Yeah, I like this one the best, mainly because it um, easy to use. I think the key thing is just being able to see the lips in the face and the patient being able to see me or me being able to see them in the clear area here works. In terms of regulatory approval, how does the communicator stand up against similar products, Anne? We're most fortunate. The communicator is registered with the FDA. We have FDA approval, so that is wonderful. It's an ASTM level one mask, 
and it is made here in the United States, so quality assurance is guaranteed. So it's really going to be a safe one. The surgical face mask is just one level below the N95 mask. N95 masks are very expensive. They tend to be a little bit warmer, a little bit hotter to wear, and more uncomfortable. So this is a great, a great piece here for this surgical grade mask. Excellent. Now let's circle back to that clear panel because that's the, the really centerpiece of your design. And why did you feel it was so important for you to include that feature? Communication is going to be at the heart of everything we do. If you can't communicate and get your message across to other people, or if you're not understanding other people's message there, when you have communication breakdown, everything else is going to fall apart. So communication has got to be paramount, and we've got to make sure that we have that. And the clear panel allows for that because some people are auditory communicators, others are visual communicators. And now that we've had the pandemic, we're hearing from so many people who say they didn't realize how much they relied on visual cues until everyone started wearing masks. So it's really important for that purpose there to be able to get all of the visual cues that we have in communication. Right. And Sophia, who might benefit most from that increased visibility and personal connection? So this is great across all different fields, oncology, geriatrics, nephrology, pediatrics. You have all these people, um, even children that might be in the hospital and in, are intimidated by these healthcare providers all covered up. They're unable to see those facial cues. Seeing that smile can help alleviate a lot of those fears. And as we saw when you demonstrated the communicator earlier, we really can see uh, facial expressions shine through. We were able to see Sophia's beautiful smile. Can you talk a bit more about why that is so essential in a healthcare setting? It is essential in healthcare settings because research shows that 93% of the meaning of communication comes from the nonverbal cue. 93%, that's huge. So it's not so much what you say, but how you say it. And that's utterly important for us. With the conventional mask pressing against the uh, mouth, you can have speech that is garbled and muffled, and that can lead to communication breakdowns that causes medical errors. And so you want to make sure that when you're in a medical setting that we are all on our P's and Q's. It's already hard enough, mysterious, with what's wrong, and in addition to maybe not feeling well, so being able to have that clear panel there to improve communication and reduce the number of medical errors so that ultimately patient care is improved. And while navigating this global pandemic as a community, we've all experienced a, a learning curve in overcoming breakdowns in communication. I mean, even just trying to ask for help at the grocery store. Sophia, how do you help customers who are struggling with this type of discomfort? So the this clear part really does help with that communication. Um, you can see it across all different fields. Um, you know, in healthcare, you have the nurses that need to communicate with one another and they have that clear piece. They're able to go to work and whatnot. Even um, sign language interpreters or speech language pathologists, they need these to go back to work so they can you know, work with their patients directly and still have that clear communication. We actually had some hard of hearing and deaf nurses who were on leave and could not work because they didn't have this mask. So having the communicator mask allowed them to go back to work. And to, uh, so that was just wonderful to know that. And then people in other fields, like in, working in post offices and things like that, where they may not be able to do social distancing and they have to wear the mask, that this will enable them to be able to work and have that protection. Right. And did you notice a change in demand at all as a result of COVID-19 and stricter mask mandates? We're in hundreds of hospitals across the United States, but yes, when the pandemic hit, they started ordering more masks. So we did notice that our orders went up, but we also noticed an influx of orders from the educational system, preschool program, K through 12 school, 
colleges and universities needed a mask that would meet ADA requirement. So the communicator is actually an ADA effective mask, so that's important, especially as so many schools across the country are trying to go back to in-person instruction. Oh, excellent. And Sophia, what kind of feedback has Safe and Clear received so far from people who are using the communicator in professional settings and even just day-to-day -day routines? Um, being in the customer service field, I, I get a lot of positive feedback, whether it's, you know, helping somebody with an order and they respond via email or they give us a phone call. Um, I guess the most memorable feedback I get is these nurses uh, that are hard of hearing or are deaf themselves. They had to stop working when this pandemic hit and the mask mandates went into place. So they were unable to work for, you know, months or however long it took them to get or to find out about the communicator masks. So once they received these masks, they were able to go back to work. Um, even with sign language interpreters, um, they were open, able to open their practices back up as well. Thank you, Anne. And Anne, you shared your beautiful story and experience earlier. Can you tell us a little bit about that? So when my husband and I started our family, um, we just had a normal um, pregnancy. And when it came time to deliver, we went to the hospital and we were waiting for our daughter to be born. 25 hours after labor, she was still not here. So we had to have a C-section. And so we moved from the labor and delivery room into the OR. And at that moment, that's when my life changed. I realized that I was no longer on top of the communication with the nurses. I was now dealing with an anesthesiologist who was behind a mask. And even my husband was while he was there, he was not able to communicate effectively with me. So having something like the communicator mask can really take a lot of that additional stress off of you and uh, also make sure that you don't have medical errors, that if you do need to communicate with the patient, that the patient can understand what you're asking and be able to be a more compliant patient. Again, to ensure the best possible outcome for patients. And Anne, what is next for the Safe and Clear brand? Safe and Clear brand, uh, we want to continue to help our customers. But the other thing that we want to do is we want to be there to meet the needs when there's really not another product on the market that can do that. I recall receiving a thank you note from one of our customers. She was deaf and she was pregnant and she so wanted her husband and others to be involved. And so by having the communicator master for, she was able to be able to partake in the birthing experience and it just made it very memorable because there's really not much that can happen to you that is as important and as intimate as starting your family. Wow, excellent. Thank you so much, Anne and Sophia. Thank you for joining us today and congratulations on your great work. Thank you. We thank you so it. much. And thank you for watching. I'm Kathy Ireland.